afternoon and welcome to the first ever broadcast of the Bank of Ireland Leinster Rugby School Senior Cup on Free Sports. We're delighted to be bringing you the action this season on Ireland and the UK's newest free-to-air sports channel. Over the course of this campaign, we will be broadcasting eight games live, including every quarter-final, both semi-finals and the final. Today, we bring, begin with the pick of the round as Belvedere College take on Cistercian College, Ross Gray at Energy A Park. Belvo are 12-time winners of the competition and reached last year's final, only to be defeated by Blackrock. Ross Gray's only time to lift the trophy was in 2015. Can they go all the way again, beginning today? Kickoff is coming up in less than five minutes. Well, Bernard, it's a chilly one. The wind is picking up a little bit, but great to be a part of the free sports team for this year's campaign. And, of course, you yourself coached in 2012, the Michaels team. What is it that makes this competition so special? In my opinion, this competition is the premier schools competition in the world in terms of history, passion, um, and a talent on show. So, hopefully today we see a cracking match. The conditions are going to make it very difficult. Um, but, generally, these games are very, very tight. Lots of, lots of great rugby played, and um, really looking forward to it. You mentioned talent on display. Of course, uh, these games are so important because a lot of these players become the feeder players for the academy in Leinster. Yeah, there's so much talent in, in, in the Leinster school system that you know some of these players will go into Leinster Academy. There'll be scouts here from all four provinces looking to try and find you know that hidden gem that can go and make a difference to help their province win. Um, and there's some guys playing on Saturday against England who've who've played in these fields as well for their own schools. So like Salarma, Ring Rose, Keen Healy, etc. So uh, very very exciting opportunity for for everybody involved. Well, earlier we caught up with the coaches responsible for that talent. Of course, Alan Tynan from Ross Gray. But first, let's hear from Massey to a Carina from Belvedere. Massey, all the hard work has been leading towards today's game. How have the preparations gone? Yeah, preparations are good. Um, the boys have prepared well. There's a good feeling among, amongst the squad. I think they're just uh, really excited about getting out and playing today. And what kind of challenge are you expecting from Ross Gray today? Uh, they're a big side, they, they bring a physicality to the game, so we're expecting um, the breakdown to be, be a challenge. Uh, they're big go forward forwards that like to uh, give front foot ball, so we're really about trying to defend that and how we could try to get the ball back off them. Alan, knockout rugby, so everything's on the line today. How confident are you heading into this one? Yeah, we're fairly confident coming in. I think our preparation will be very good coming up to this game. Um, we're fairly co not overconfident, but we're confident that we can go out and give a performance that's going to uh, do the job for us here today. Uh, boys are all in good form. Uh, confidence is good in the camp. Uh, atmosphere is good around the camp. So, yeah, we're, we're, I think we're in a good place. Yes, and so to the teams for today's encounter. Belvedere College fielding quite a young squad, but a good solid front row of Hugh Flood, Andrew Sinnott, and Connor Cagney. Connor, the brother of Torg, of course, the 2017 winner of the Leinster Schools with Belvedere College. Alex Saroka in the second row, Leinster and Ireland under 18 schools, another talent to watch out for, and Aaron Coleman also on the Leinster and under 18s. A back line which sees a half a combination of Patrick Lysart and Justin Leonard. And the very talented Rory Dwyer picks up what is a talented backline. Ross Gray, too, coming into this with plenty of representative players in their squad. Dylan Keane of the Connacht 18s, Ben Murphy as well of the Connacht 19s. Lewis Culleton captains the side, son of the great Ronnie, Ronnie Culleton, and grandson of Jerry, Leinster and Ireland fame. Gavin Mars, a very talented open side for the Leinster 18s. And Both sides getting ready for this one. It has to say, alongside me as Belvedere take the pitch, I'm joined today by Leinster and Ireland hooker Bernard Jackman. Bernard, exciting times. The weather has taken a bit of a turn. We've seen some snow and sleet in the last few minutes, which will affect the game. But all in all, conditions not so bad. Yeah, so far so good. It's very cold. and There was a bit of a rainstorm about a half an hour ago. It seems to have cleared a little bit, and hopefully the conditions don't get in the way of you know, of the two teams playing the type of attractive rugby they played all season, but um, certainly if you were coming to watch the game, you'd pay the supplement to get into the stand and, and be safe from out of the rain, because I think on the pitch it's going to be quite intense. Something special always about schools rugby, it's, it's different to any other brand of rugby encounter as you go on in your career, I still remember back in the days, looking around here at all the supporters and the voices and the schools, like it, it's something very different to, to, to professional rugby. Absolutely, and I think it's uh, you know, when you're going to school in the first year and you get to go to a cup match like this and you see 
you know, you see the players in, in fifth, sixth year and your school colours, you know, it's your dream to represent the school when you when you get to that age. And um, for these boys, it's so going to be the biggest game they ever play in their life. And, um, you know, and the nerves that will be building over the last week or two will be huge. And it's often as the team who deal with those nerves best who, who end up winning the game more so than talent. Yes, and of course, not the first time these two teams have met Bernard. Uh, Ross Gray got the tuck off their back in 2015 when they did win that final, but uh, Belvedere and Ross Gray, plenty of history. Yeah, over the last couple of years, um, both teams have been you know, fighting it out with the traditional powerhouses, the Rock, the Michaels, the Terran Yours, to, to cause some great upsets. Um, Phil Warhiko was very much part of the revolution in terms of getting Belvedere back up there. He's obviously gone to Russia now um, to coach, and it'll be interesting to see if they change tactically from what was a very forward-dominated game under his regime. Yeah, and of course, your match officials for today are Dermot Blake, referee, touch judges Cl Clive Woodruff, and Joseph Meany. Belvedere will get us underway. Justin Leonard just awaiting the referee's instructions to get us underway for this 2019 Bank of Ireland Leinster Schools match between Belvedere and Cistercian College Ross Gray. Kick goes long into the Ross Gray. Half and straight away, referee Blake making a decision, giving the pen penalty to Belvedere, crossing right off the restart. So a bit of a soft penalty to give away from Ross Gray's point of view, but Belvedere no doubt will be very happy with this. And looks like they're going to go to the corner. Jack Matthews just going to place them down there. Big and and Patrick Lice are just going to place him down there into the corner. Yeah, a typical mistake that happens early in these cup games, right in front of the Belbo supporters, so it's difficult to communicate and just gets done for uh, accidental offside. Great opportunity for Belbo to get a, a driving line out early in the game. Yeah, right away, pressure on. Ross Gray is Belvedere, camped five metres from the line with this line out. A little bit of movement, easily taken. Mall is set up, they drive towards the line. Big build up, just held up short. Lysart out along the line. Leonard, oh, that's need to go forward. Referee is right there. It's offside first. Just calling over. Ross Gray's captain, Cullen, there, just explaining to him from that line. They're in the offside position. So, big decision early as the rain starts to team down again. And again, they go for the line out into the corner. Belvedere. You see here, big opportunity just in the contact on that tackle. Just slightly offside, but they're going to plan. Same plan for Belvedere. They're trusting their ball. Sit it with the throw. Again, set well, but that's a great defensive drive from Ross Gray. Pushing them back. Ball sits at the back. Sinnott has it. Lysart weighs up his options and moving it across the line. Good defence again from Ross Gray. Huge hit there from Tynan. Still, Belvedere have it driven forward in the form of Alexei Soroka. Steady build up this from Belvedere. Good defensive line organised by Ross Gray. Pick and drive is the option. Ball is available. Referee telling them to get on side. It's moved again by Lysart. Back inside. Defensive line holding firm for us, Gray. Pick and drive. Big leg drive there from Belvedere. Ball is presented. They step outside. Again, keeping it close. Elected to keep it tight in these wet conditions. And they go on the open side, it's a slight gap. A oh, well driven back by Ross Gray. Excellent defense from the Ross Gray players. Coleman put back. Lucknam with a big hit. Step across by Jones. Pick and drive. Referee's arm is out. There's a penalty advantage offside again. Big drive. Comes from Lysart, he leaves it to his forwards. Kelly there waiting. 
trying to get their hands on the ben ball, Osprey. They're just defending Steven. valiantly. Larry Sarp moves it wide to go wide. Good defensive tackle again as they come forward, but the ball's available. Yoshi <laughs> McCluskey got in and got his hands on that ball, but the penalty had been given earlier. And the referee, Dermot Blake, he's already had enough. He's stalking to Louis, Lucas Cullenton. Let's hear what he has to say. One more in here. You know what's going to happen. Too many, early. Yeah, he's just telling Captain Aaron Coleman that he's warned them for the final time. Ross Gray on very thin ice there. They need to be very careful. Any further penalties, and you feel the referee would certainly be taking further action. But Belvedere sustained pressure there, but defence has to be said from Ross Gray. Excellent on that occasion, Bernard. Yeah, some excellent play from both sides. I think Ross Gray defensively to keep Belvo out. You know, there's three and a half minutes of sustained possession there, and they'd be happy to give away, I think, what hopefully be three points because they're trapped in a corner, you know, and, and it looked like they're going to give away more than that, but uh, they just got to make sure they get their exit strategy better. Yeah. And no mistake there from Justin Leonard, penalty Belvo, 3 0. And I suppose there is a slight wind advantage as well uh, that Belvedere have in their backs, so they'll be keen to get some points on the on the board early, Bernard, and build before it gets to half time. Yeah, I would say it's a 15 point win, and I can understand why they went to the corner, but then when they hadn't scored, it's just nice to take a three points, settle them down, and look to rebuild again and get back down there as quickly as possible. Well, Billy Foley restarts the game again, he goes long towards the Belvo 22. It's taken in well as it's driven forward. Ross Gray not putting too many people in and around the breakdown. Again, keen to move with that pass. Doesn't go to hand from Leonard. Ball's available again to Lyser. They come down the blind side. Again, good defence. Great fighting for the ball by Shane Mallon. Leonard. Ball slightly held up. Arm again, referee penalty. Another penalty for Belvedere. And one feels the referee is going to start to get a little bit frustrated with this. He's already spoken to them two or three times. Yeah, I think Belvedere are taking a little bit of time to exit. Obviously, Massey, Massey comes from a sevens background to Guevara and he, he wants to play ball in hand. But in these conditions, I think they can just get down the field a little bit earlier. And Belvedere, that's the fourth penalty they've given away. So they just need to make sure they get on the right side of the referee and listen to him there. He was calling them all. Ball over release and just held the, the attacking player up for too long. Yeah, you can see Sinek going forward there and players coming in around him. It did seem like they had him held up for a moment, but uh, once he hit the ground, they needed to release and it just wasn't quick enough. Belvedere again going to this lineup, which seems to be functioning so well for them. Again, good throw, easily taken there at the front. Good throw from Sinek. Belvedere worked that drive again. Lysart waits, talking to his forwards, directing the traffic, telling them where to go, straight up the middle. He keeps shouting at them, keep going forward, keep going forward. The drive is on. Ross Gray opening up. Hey, that's one, that's one. Lysart now taking control. He moves it wide to Leonard. In fact, it was oh, Grogan who came in from his go. wing. Lysart again, good quick ball available. Taking forward in the form of Soroka. Lysart, options on both sides. There's the dummy, great break by him. Just snagged at the corner. Good tackle by Rocknan. Oh, they've moved and it's a brilliant step inside by Mark. Just as strong the line and the momentum carries him over. And it's a try. Fantastic try. Jack John Mark takes a step off his left on the inside. Dummy the defender. Didn't need any of the support runners. Yeah, that's a, that's a brilliant try from Belvo. It started with a four-man four lineup where they got 20 metres dry, just sucked in some of the Ross Gray forwards and some of the fringe tackling probably left a little bit of desire by Ross Gray, but this is just pure magic. Just lets a pass beat the man and it shows great pace. Back in off his, off his right foot and beats the last defender, but real good power pace here to score, you know, a try from 22 yards out. Excellent and no stopping, no stopping the big, the big man. Yeah, you can just see it as well. Uh, they got the width on the ball early, so it came from Lysart straight to Leonard, who put it out into the arms of Mar. But before that, Dermot Dur yeah, Gillagallan, okay. he had actually shot out of the line, and that created that extra gap on the inside for 
Mar to be able to find his way through, and there's an injury to one of the Ross Gray players. Can't quite see who it is at the moment. It may be Rory Dwyer as he came forward to try and make that tackle as Mar was coming forward. He just seemed to slip as he was coming into it. And then, unfortunately, it looks like he's taken some sort of a heavy knock. Continue with the conversion. Nice long build up. He strikes it. Oh, and that one just comes back off the post. Unfortunate there. Good effort. Takes his time, but yes, so Bernard, we're seeing the intent of what Ber what Belvoir are planning to do, they're going to the line, they're going to their go-to ball at the front, building that drive, the ball worked very effectively, and once they've drawn the players in, they're getting the width on it. Yeah, Belvoir looked very well drilled, very well drilled in the set piece, as you spoke about the line-out, their shape looks really good, their breakdown looks good, and you know, I think we saw there, there's going to be a change for Ross Gray, the injured the physios call him for uh, injury replacement, but I saw where Ross Gray was at the fender jumping out of the line, that's just because they haven't had the ball for 10 minutes, and they need to understand that against the wind, they're going to have to trust their defensive system, stay patient, um, because if you shoot out of the line like that, Bell will have the players to to, to make um, make gains from that. And as we saw, that brilliant try from from Mar. Yes, indeed. Keep at schools level. It's one of the strong messages that go in from the coaches, of course, is to maintain that defensive line, try and keep linked to the player either side of you, so that you're not causing those dog legs and causing those holes and those gaps to open. But great awareness by John Marr to see that gap, take the step, and take full advantage of it. Billy Foley gets things underway again, well contested there from Ross Gray, but tidied up by Hugh Flood. Ball available again to Lysert. Lose it to Leonard. Who again uses the big men to drive it up forward. Saloka back down the blind side. Defensive line well organized. Good hit there from Jerry Kerr. Ross Gray well set up. They come forward. Very aggressive line speed, but they need to make those tackles. Six Connor Kelly barging through. Again. Ball to Leonard. Puts up a big one to be chased. In comes Mulvaney. Oh, and bounces up into his arms. Great chase from Mulvaney. He's there. It's great. It's from the Ross Gray number five, chasing at great speed. But Mulvaney just has the pace. He's Grove, and he just got there in the end. Great chase down by Luke, Lucas Colton to try and take it up. But what a great Gary Owen by Justin Leonard. And fantastic chasing line by Belvedere. And the ball, as it does so often with the rugby ball, just bounces up beautifully into the arms of Mac Rogan, who showed some turn of pace to get away from Cullen. It was incredibly pace. Watch the speed of him to chase him down there. Looked like he was going to catch him. But just enough distance One between the two the to line, get that okay. corner try. Yeah, that's a, that's a massive blow for, for Ross Gray. Brilliant kick from, from Leonard, as you said. Contestable in the conditions. It's always going to be difficult to defend inside, but you've got to give massive credit to the Belleville left winger there for his ability to keep his eye on the ball and then catch it you know, in a contestable situation and then great pace to, to finish in the corner. Yeah, and it was just fingertips that he caught it with from that kick as it bounced, bounced up against his hip and he managed to just take it. Here's Leonard with the conversion attempt. Wind. Wind playing havoc with that kick. A little unlucky there, probably the right idea. Tried to drive it across and let the wind bring it around the corner, but wind just getting the better of it on that occasion. Still, 13 points to nil, and exactly the type of start that Belvedere would have wanted. Gray with the longer inside, restart. Lysart okay, takes it. Inside. Puts plenty of distance on that. Oh, has he put too much on it? Oh, it's gone all the way. There's Lysart there who kicked that one, taking responsibility on himself. Patrick Lysart. That's a but the wind 
Yeah, that's sorry. an important break for for Ross Gray. They've had no opportunity to get any possession in this game, and it's, and it's 13 and a half minutes gone. Marcus Just that little nice. kick error um, from from Lice. It gives him a chance to have a scrum. We haven't yeah, seen a, a scrum yet, so it's interesting to see dominance there, but. You know, he'd like to see Ross Gray being able to keep possession for a couple of minutes and just, you know, just get a bit of a feel and entry point into the game because it's been a bit of a horror show for him so far. Yeah, and this is the first scrum we've had so far in the match. Be interesting to see how these two teams stack up against each other. All in from Matthews. Cronin to Matthews to care. Good step back inside by Tynan. Sets it up, leaves it there for his forwards. Good ball around the corner. Taken on by Lucas Cullerton. Good defence though. By his opposite number, Soroka. Big drives. Ball available. Good contesting this time. Referee. Derma Flake. Saying the player is not getting away from that ball. And again, as you said, Bernard, an opportunity for us. Great to maybe get some territory and get into the corner yeah I, I, I still still stand over I think it's a 15 point lead um, you know where Oscar have a chance here now to not just maybe potentially score but just build some pressure and, and put the squeeze on Belvo a little bit so the first scrum look rock solid this is the first opportunity to throw into a line out and you know I think we take looking to take it down and drive and test the, the Belvedere defense yeah Roland locked on with that opportunity to throw it in so a big one for him for the first line out Good throw, ball to the back, setting up the base of that Maul, getting the drive, defended well by Belvedere though. Ball's there for Jack Matthews, who moves it wide, out towards Foley. Foley hits it up, places the ball, Matthews again, big drive taken on this time by the forwards, Cronin. Might be still an advantage. That takes a big hit by Jack Egan, ball goes wide, great pass. On the outside, good step inside there by... Kilcallan, leg drive is excellent, and they made it. Oh, what a finish! What a finish! Leg drive looked like Belvedere had everything set up defensively, well organized, and the first real point of attack that Ross Gray have had, the first possession they've really had, moved the ball excellently by Matthews to Tynan, great width on the ball, and brilliantly finished. Look at that width again, Bernard. Yeah, it's a great carry there from Cullerton in the yellow scrum cap. Really good clean out. They're playing a pod to three, just sucking in the Belvedere defence. I thought it was great defence here in the second from the Belvedere right winger. O'Grady comes in, makes a spot tackle, but great strength in the in the in the, in the contact there to get up and, and get a second effort, get five five additional meters in the carry, and that's a huge boost for for Ross Gray who've been up against it. But to get a score in their first attack will give them great confidence. Yeah, Dermot Kilgallen there, of course. Connacht 19s, but he got tackled initially. It looked like he had been tackled and hit the ground, um, but it seemed that you know he managed to get back on his feet. Referee was right there, so he'd obviously released, got back to his feet, and got the leg drive going and scored in the corner. And now a chance for Billy Foley to add the two points. He hasn't got the distance. That wind is playing havoc with those kicks, but as I said. Ross Gray playing into that wind in this first half. They'll be delighted to get that score on the board, 13-5, and stay within touching distance as we approach uh, 17 minutes on the clock. Yeah, it was important for them to get a little bit of possession of territory, but you know, to get a try from the first real attack is, is the icing on the cake. The big thing now is Leonard will probably kick it back long left again. And just be organised here, no soft penalties, clear, clear your lines and, and, and move the play up the field a little bit. We start again. Take by Ross Gray. Great drive by Marr. Look at that leg drive. Just keeps going forward. Belvedere trying to take it down. That's the defensive line organized, but it's there again for Matthews. He's going to look towards the box kick. Puts up a high one. Being held up in the wind. It's been chased by Lucknan. Oh, what a take by Lucknan. Drives it forward back to his feet. Ball available there. It's moved quickly by Matthews. Again, they go towards the middle. Offside, referee, late right Two there, offside. crossing in the defensive offside in the defensive line. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing what a bit of confidence can give you at this level. Ross Gray had been completely out of the game. They get a try and they get into really good shape, really good shape there straight away. Another a brilliant box kick again. This time it was Cullerton got under, um, yeah. Cullerton got under and, and, and took a took a take, you know, under massive pressure in the air and Bevel 
a little bit on go, working backwards. We're a, little, we're a couple of yards offside on the, from the from the defensive rook, and a, an opportunity for Osprey to kick up the line again and build build some pressure again. And again, what a brilliant box kick that was from Matthews. Look at the height he gets in the hang time. Wind holding it up somewhat, but look at this for a chase and jump and timing, excellent and beautifully placed after that again for Matthews as he comes in to move it across. Yeah, there's another break of play here, just a little injury to uh, a Ross Gray player. <laughs> Looks to be okay and he's going to carry on. Yeah, Billy Foley again to try and play territory and put Ross Gray back down into the Belvedere territory. And he lands that one just on the 22. A brilliant kick inside, into the wind yeah, by Billy Foley. Take the line, guys. The mark is inside. What do you think, Bernard? Bernard? Likely to go for. Yeah, they've, they've cut the, the line. Ball. Up. Yeah, they've got to a five man line out. Um, and they've got two back rows inside the 10. So looking to potentially go off the top in the middle through Cullerton. Great line out. Ball. And build them all. Set up again, and Lucknan yeah. has it at the back. He's trying to get that drive going forward. The referee the right there is the telling to move line. it. It's coming through the middle. Belvedere may have their hands on this one. Well, he's allowed it to go on. Matthews has it. Back to Cullerton, the go-to man every time for Ross Gray. Matthews to Egan, who's been very involved in this game so far in the early stages. Matthews again digging for that ball, having to force it out. Looked like Belbo just slightly offside there, but it's taken up by McCluskey. Again, just coming through the middle. Drive there from Connor Cagney, getting on top of... Jack Matthews, but just not forward in that tackle area. But again, Cullerton is so important to everything that Ross Gray are doing. But they're moving that ball, but they're getting big forward carriers just outside in that 10 channel and running at the Belvedere backs, and it's making some good progress. Yeah, they are. They're getting over the gain line consistently, and their, their rook ball is generally quite clean. And, you know, because Belvedere are going backwards, they're either straight offside or they're, they're over committing to the breakdown. You know, here Cagney Ferris gets in there. Uh, puts a little bit of pressure on, he's probably a little bit lucky, you know, he knocks it on, which gives Belvo the scrum, but definitely I think from the Belvo coaching point of view, they're playing too much rugby now in their own half, and just need to get down there and make advantage, take advantage of this big win. Scrum here for us, Greg, hold steady, it's with Matthews, Matthews to Foley, takes it up, little wrap around the back, all good hands there to Mallon, Mallon looks for the pace, he gets through a little half gap, it's dragged to the ground, haul down, Matthews goes down that blind side again, back inside to Marr who takes it forward, puts it out to Cullerton, he puts the heads down, gets the leg drive, tries to present. Belvedere holding fast, that ball just went forward it seemed. Yes, referee Blake just there on the ground, unfortunate from a Ross Gray point of view, but good defensive work again by Belvedere. Yeah, good defensive work by Belvedere, except for probably the defence off the set piece. Um, you know, the 13 just jumped out of the line, Mulvaney, which gave... Ross Gray a glimpse of, of, the, of the try line but Belvedere in fairness they got back really well and um, got their line intensity line integrity back together and as Cullen went to ground just as, as he was presenting the ball the ball just went forward it gives Belvedere a scrum that's sometimes the problem on the on the 4G pitches you have to be very careful as you present the ball um, that it, it stays in the one place it doesn't drift forward or backwards Just an injury here two players down at the moment we're looking at uh, Shane Mallon from Ross Gray but also from Belvedere. Yeah. Guys, I can't see who it is at the there. moment, but uh, Belvedere just getting some treatment as the scrum. Just 10 metres, 15 metres from the line. Be Be Belvedere already have to reshuffle their back line with uh, the injury to Dylan Keane, who's a right, transition year student, very, very promising well. player. Unfortunately, he, he got injured trying to defend that first try. Um, and they've had to bring on Adam, Adam Dunn, who's gone onto the right wing, and they've made a change in a fullback. Number 14 has come in, a fullback, Shane Mallon. Um, so, interesting for him to see how he adapts to the new position. Yeah. Let me step through you. Let me step through you. Scrum to Belvedere. This will be a test of them on eight metres from their own line. They'll be keen to get out of here. Nice start with the feed. Okay. The feed of Coleman. He takes passes. Trying to get a little bit of width and all good step Top back inside. Release. Guys, All available you. again to Lysa. He comes back down this blind side. 
Leonard's waiting, puts boot to ball. And that's a great clearing kick. Now that's textbook. All of 30 meters. Textbook exiting from uh, from Belmo using the 12 to get over the gain line. Mark, it's a great carry. And then he's come back against the grain. Justin Leonard, or Leonard has a great kick. Um, yeah, Justin Leonard, ex cool mine, has a great kick behind the pressure of having a, a pot in front and gets 40 yards on his, on his clearance. Seen it now with the second line out throw. We go towards the back. Oh, well interfered, but it's gone back onto the Ross Gray side. Good competing initially for Belvedere, but Ross Gray lucky that it popped back in. Side taken up there by Jerry Kerr. Matthews again moving it along that back line. Big run there from Ronan Lachnan to take it forward. Belvo competing. Ball with Matthews. Take it forward by Jerry Kerr. They try and change the direction. Foley moves it along the line. Back inside. Cullen's on the outside. Gets it now. Involved in everything in these early stages for Ross Gray. Good drive through the middle there from Hugh Flood. Counter rooking. Connor Cagney taking it forward. Lysart now moves it along to Leonard. Leonard out along the line to Soroka. Lysart. Cagney to Leonard. Leonard tries a little bit of trickery to get back inside and get free. Ball's available again for Belvedere. Building themselves a bit more momentum. Taken forward by Aaron Coleman. Forwards and Bob. Front rows. Nice little kick in behind. Oh, it's bobbling everywhere. He's just waited. Oh, that's clever. Good work from Mallon. He knew exactly where he was. Relying on the 4G pitch to bounce and get it over the line. Relieve the pressure. 22 opportunity. Still inside their own half, though. And Billy Foley will be looking to maybe get a bit of distance on this and get a good chasing line. Time off. The captain is down. What's great? Injury here, it seems to Cullen seems to be carrying a little bit of a knock after everything he's been involved in. He's been involved in everything so far that yeah. they've done. Yeah, he's, he's really put his hand up. He's obviously captain inside, um, has plenty of representative experience, you know, in the Connacht um, Academy system. And, uh, you know, he's he's given him go forward. He's been very busy. I think he got injured trying to make a tackle off his left shoulder there. Go back to the, the first try of the game. You see it again. Brilliant bit of play from the back line. You know, and there's the, there's a sh there's a shooter out of the line, and uh, what a finish from there. Yeah, he looks at really schools, special. At schools level, it's that panic that sets in. But Ross Gray bounced back, and again, some good build up from them in the form of Egan taking it forward. But again, look at that great pass inside. But it's here as he hits the deck, gets back up, not held in the tackle, gets back up, uses great strength, Dermot Gilgallan, and gets over in the corner. And just what Ross Gray needed at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Really good individual work. He'd potentially say he should have released it, but referee was on hand and was happy with it. And, uh, you know, two great individual tries. And there's the restart. And that win playing havoc. Oh, <laughs> it went out. He got the bounce. And because of the wind that's coming up against him, Foley gets that kick, he puts a little bit of a spiral, uh, almost like a banana off the outside of his boot, knocked out with Belvedere, and I think Ross Gray will be happy with that result. That's a great result, you get a chance to defend off the set piece, rather than have Belvedere come back at you from, from open play. So, line out here for Belvedere, Andrew Sinnott with the throw, the message has gone in, only four men in the lineup. Go towards the back. It's taken well. Yeah. In from the side. Again. Just as Ross Gray get themselves into a good exit position and an opportunity to put pressure on to give away a pretty soft penalty. Yeah, soft penalty. In fairness, the Belmo set piece in terms of the, the lift jump catch has been excellent. They're 100% so far in what very tricky conditions. And they had the last one. You just see it here. I think he gets Cullen for, for taking out the lifter a little bit early. No, it's, no, it's, it's against the eight. Yeah, no, it's from Tusky who comes in from the side. Yeah, yeah come in from the side, took, took the lifter out, and the referee was eagle eyed. And, um, you know, he, he's 100% right. It's a, it's a penalty. Line has gone well so far for Belvedere. Here's Sinnott again. Go 
towards the back again. It's been their go-to move. Oh, well defended this time by Ross Gray, getting the man down early. Nice hurt now, gets it out wide to Leonard. Leonard looks a little dummy back inside towards Grogan. Looking to find a gap, but that time there was great defence as well organised. It's taken forward now by Connor Kelly. Again, Lysar moves it, gets it on the outside. Big drive forward. Coming back against it to Coleman. Misses Coleman, gets it back inside to Connor Kelly. Defensive line trying to get organised from Ross Gray. They move it forward to Connor Cagney, who's been involved in so much of what Belvedere have done well. Nice art. Oh, beautiful ball back inside. Incredible. Lysart just takes the step on the outside. You had Connor Kelly setting up with Aaron Coleman. They were the they were the attackers that were causing so much worry to Ross Gray. They only saw Rory Dwyer just lining up on the inside. Just watch Coleman and Kelly both distract. And then that little flack back inside. A little flick from Lysart back inside to Dwyer. No defender at home, created the hole with the run across. There it is, back inside. That's You've been a, very proud of that one, that's Bernard. A, that's a great try. Um, every team in back when we were playing Reggie, that was a, a go to, it was called George George Cregan. Cregan. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's gone out of the professional game because the, the first defender, <laughs> he's, he never, never moves, but a school's level, as long as he's still effective. Yeah. Really good combination there, and just come from a hidden line. And once he broke the first line of defense, he, great footwork to, to score under the post. Yeah, Leonard adds the two points and brings it up to 20 points to five. Yeah, the old George Gregan. You yeah, haven't seen one of those for a while, as we <laughs> said, but the build-up was excellent. But I think as well that the decoys of Connor Kelly and Aaron Coleman on the outside, they were the ones that Ross Gray were worried about, and that's what caused the gap. Again, the restart taken well, this time by Alexi Soroka. Belva now with a little bit more pep in their Way step, back. having weathered that bit of a comeback there from Ross Gray. Hugh Flood takes it forward. Tackle! Tackle! Nicer to Leonard. John Marr takes it forward, goes to ground, good tackle again. Leonard. Back outside to Coleman. Great hit from Ross Gray coming in from Mushy McCluskey. Again, competing for everything, Ross Gray. Super counter rookie for Ross Gray. McCluskey leading the charge there, giving the, their supporters something to shout about. And I think Foley will probably look for position again off this one and try and get themselves into an area where they can attack and try and get something on the scoreboard before half time. Yeah, the Belmore playing a, a, pod, a pod of tree, but if the first cleaner just goes too far, the second man in is, is vulnerable and we saw uh, Ross Gray counter up in there really aggressively which win in that space and uh, it's a huge turnover um, for Ross Gray gives him a second chance to get up into into the Belvo 22 and let's see if they can score again I've noticed there is they don't seem to be putting both teams are not putting huge numbers numbers in at the breakdown I suppose would that be something that you'd be mentioning at halftime as coach yeah I think there's, there's opportunities both sides I think um, particularly on the defensive side to get in there and counter rook like we saw there uh, they're so obsessed with having their shape um, you know they're already sending the ball carrier plus two so there is opportunity to get in there and, and slow that ball down and, or even more oh what a step from Foley back inside Coleman meets and ball available quick ball they move it back outside to care he takes it forward but he's defended well Matthews looks to go on the outside now it's taken forward by Joe Cronin but well defended by Belvedere and bundled into touch yeah great defense from Belvedere from from the second part of the play just Ross Gray need to keep away from the touchline there, obviously, um, you know, fight to get back in off the touchline, but a great, a great gain line by um, by Billy Foley, which gave them the field position, but there you see, you know, unbelievable team defence, with, uh, you know, Patrick Lysett, probably one of the smaller players on the field, leading the charge. Yeah, and Mac, Mac Rogan, Linden assistance there as well, now we've seen it with the throw, go for the solid ball at the front again, well taken, set up in good position. Lysart weighs up his options. Ross Gray being told to stay on side. Ball gets a bit scrappy. Lysart's got to take it up. Ball is out. Again, good counter rooking coming in from Ross Gray. Box kick goes a bit longer than he probably intended. Well taken that time by Shane Mallon. Looks to move it outside. Mistake there by Ben Murphy. But he's got pace, look at the way he takes it. Huge paces through the gap. 
Oh, just barely caught okay. around the ankles. Oh, what a run from Ben Murphy. First we've seen him in this match. Oh, it just went. It looked like it may have gone backwards, but referee was right there. But my God, what a break there by Murphy. What pace. Yeah, let's hope the ball gets into his hands a little bit more in space. That he looks absolutely electric. Not very, not very tall, but just covered the ground there brilliantly and saw saw the opportunity to get away on the outside. Comes from a little bouncing pass, which probably took the defence um, out of it a little bit. But oh, great scramble from the hooker. What a covering tackle just to get back there and make that last gas tackle because Andrew Sinnott. There was nothing in front of him, he could have done it. Ben Murphy could have gone all the way. Scrum now for Belvo. Oh, it's a big scrum from Belvedere. That's gone well past 45, it's gone 90. Referee reset. Said it whipped a little bit, just wants to reset it. Yeah, I think you know, it's a brilliant scrum from Bel from from Belbo opened up the, the blind side, took the Ross Gray um, back row out of it, so I think they look to get an angle again, get a loose head up, and uh, look to launch a, a backline attack because you know the Belvedere backs have looked really, really sharp and dangerous at the time we've had an attacking opportunity. Well, considering the conditions, there's been plenty of innovation from both teams, both willing to move the ball. Plenty of pace and plenty of tries. And the skill set has been phenomenal. You know, only two handling errors in, in over half an hour's rugby. Oh, big barge up again, Come taken race. forward by Mulvaney. Leonard takes it in deflection. Yeah, I've been really impressed with, with Leonard. He looks so composed. He's a, he's a left footer and he's got a really good understanding of you know when it's on to keep the play in ball in hand or whether it's on to look for a little space in behind and you know puts a little cover kick through there took a deflection so you know good result from Belgo having a, having a set piece which has been immaculate in the in the Ross Gray half and an opportunity with about four minutes left in this half to launch another attack for Belvedere off this line out it's well taken there it's off the mark no Oh, the drive is on again. You can see Matthews. Lysart is there directing traffic as he comes in. And a penalty for collapsing, and the referee is going to his pocket. And it's a yellow card. They've been warning that. That warning has been coming in for a number, number of phases now. They've been looking at that. And that's a pretty kick. Big blow losing him with the wind, push it that far, six metres out, you know, it's a great kick from uh, from Belvedere. Okay. I think the Belvedere drill on the line out, I mean, Sirocco's hands, that, that's just, that's double tops in terms of the throw and he catches it. Brosker had been trying to sack the ball, you know, but every time you don't get it right, Belvo have got go forward real quick, real quickly, and there's no answer to it except collapse illegally. Brilliant oh, take again at the front, the ball is set up there without Cronin, remember, Ross Gray, this will be difficult to defend. They're showing good patience, Belvedere. Goes to ground. Referee says okay. We're going to move this one out wide. Crash route one. Nice and organizing the troops, talking to his forwards, getting them organized around that corner. He's looking to get people down the blind side as well. Kick and drive is on. Let's Gray set the defense. Cagney looks to go. Big drive. Is he there? Just short. Second drive pick again. Ball is there. Polizzi, but he doesn't want it. He's forwards. He's took forward in the mid, and he's made it. A little pick and drive, and this time it was Alexi Soroka. He manages to get that one over, and that was always coming Bernard once Ross Gray lost Cronin to the bin. Yeah, they're always going to be under under the pump. They did very well to deal with the initial drive. They got it going towards the touchline, you know, really quickly. But Belvo looked unbelievably patient you know in this kind of situation here their, their forwards work with a always with a latch always with another four behind them to help them drive into contact and from two or three yards out here you know as long as you stay patient and you've got good body position you're all, always in favor of the attacking side yeah and just as they go to half time that's a big blow for Ross gray now justin leonard with the opportunity to add the two points you've got 40 seconds 40 seconds comes in from the referee. So, teammates coming up to hold it 
for him. Lysart will just put a little finger on that while Leonard sets himself up. He strikes that one, and that one's good. Yeah, he's a, he's a class act. Um, Leonard for me he just looks so composed that's a great kick he's been very unlucky two of his conversions have been from you know from near the touchline in in a very very strong win but uh yeah there's some the skill set so far has been exceptional maybe it's hard to describe how difficult the conditions must be and the intensity both teams are, are bringing in defense but you know the, the ball recycling has been top class yeah, there's no doubt the wind is playing a factor in it and uh, Belvedere have it at the moment but certainly Belvedere extremely well drilled and well organized in all those set pieces body game with the Restart and over there are happy to just get that ball off the pitch and get it to half time a half that's been hugely interesting from both teams. Four tries in all for Belvedere from John Marr, Matt Grogan, Rory Dwyer, and I'm Soroka. And a responsive try from Dermot Gilgallan. First half 27 5, Belvedere in the lead. When your boiler's on the blink, peace of mind is having someone to turn to. We're with you. So from just 40p a day, get British Gas Home Care Boiler Cover and one of our 6,000 engineers will visit to get it sorted. You can contact us 24 hours a day, every day of the year. And when you buy selected home care products online by the 18th of February, get one month free. Search British Gas Home Care. Day three, we set sail for Corsica, taking in Florence, Pisa and Rome. Bogner will just have to wait another year. Seven night fly cruise holidays from 799 per person, with £140 per cabin to spend on board. p and Cruises. This is the life at All Protected. Guarantee Wi-Fi in every room. BT, be there. What comes as standard? The standard? Oh. Alloy wheels? We can add those. Heated seats? Uh, with the cold weather pack only. A seven inch touchscreen as standard? Air conditioning? <laughs> no. So everything's included? Yeah. The Corsa Griffin comes with a whole host of extras as standard. Vauxhall Corsa Griffin. All Griffin, no bull. Alpha, look sharp. Sightings of undead in your area. Keep them out of your safe zone at all costs. There are huge numbers of undead heading your way. All teams under attack. Here they come! Just a reminder that we are now your new home for Syria football in the Republic of Ireland and the UK. This Saturday on Free Sports, you can catch Napoli versus Sampdoria. Coverage joins at 5.15. And following that, you can watch Cristiano Ronaldo's Juventus take on Parma, again live on Free Sports.
And we continue our coverage of the Portuguese top flight on Sunday evening. First, it's Lisbon Derby at half five, a sporting face Benfica, and later, Vitória take on Porto. And more great live sport for free next week. On Tuesday, it's the Champions Hockey League final between Rolanda Gothenburg and Red Bull Munich. And all week long, you can catch the action from the IPA Pool World Championships. All on free sports. Yeah. Well, Bernard, the weather has taken a bit of a turn for the worse, it has to be said. We're getting these squally showers, and the wind certainly has picked up, and that'll be in Ross Gray's favour in this second half. Yeah, it will be in Ross Gray's favour, but in fairness to Belvo, they've set the mark pretty high, 20, 27 points um, scored, and, you know, it's a big ask. Although, having said that, you know, at this at this age with these young 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 players, if momentum can swing in Ross Gray's in favour. You know, they have shown they've got the individuals and also, you know, the, the structure to to ask questions of, of Belvedere. And, and you know, you'd, wo- you'd worry about Belvedere's ability to stay composed if Ross Gray were to have a sustained period of pressure. But, you know, I, I still see the opportunity for Belvedere to go up the field and get some scores themselves. They've had, you know, some individuals have looked really, really special. Yeah, in that first half, I mean, uh, we saw Ross Gray. The heads didn't drop when they went behind initially. Uh, certainly, they kept things going. Jack Matthews, Billy Foley leading the charge as well, and Dermot Gilgallan. So we, we've seen the talent that they have in that back line if they can get some quality ball to them. Yeah, they have, and I do think that their their skill set is more inclined towards, you know, the kicking game, which will be more in their favour with this with this wind in the second half. And, you know, they're a very spirited group. They're very tight-knit. They're a small school, all borders. Um, you know, and they're sure that they won't, won't drop the heads. They'll fight to the very end. Impressive first half too from Culloden, but Belvedere, as you said, you know, the likes of Coleman, Soroka, they're taking and leading the charge, and Justin Leonard in control, it seems, of that whole pack. Yeah, very, very strong performance, and, uh, you know, the, the key to the, their, their performance in the first half, I thought, has been their seppies, their scrum has looked really solid. They've had immaculate ball off the, off the line out, but also being able to create that mall and get go forward and just put Ross Gray on the back foot, and against the win, that'll be key, being able to keep the game tight with your four packing and get possession. Okay, well, Billy Foley's going to get things underway for Ross Gray with this restart. He goes long. Oh, it's well taken by Lice out there. Oh, little drop by Leonard. Mistake. First mistake we've seen. Yeah, very similar to the first half, except this time it's rolls reverse. Belvedere are trying to catch a kick off this pinged into the bottom corner, and they just make a mess of it and give Ross Gray a set piece, which would be an ideal opportunity to get an early score. Yeah, just from changing the Belvedere team, Kellen Mulvaney has gone off and he's been replaced by Bill Jennings. Yeah, uncharacteristic mistake there. I think the, fa- the pass was just a little bit short and he had to reach for it. But a great attacking opportunity here for us. Great, just 12 metres short of the Belvedere line. There's a big blind side here, very little defence. Well, of course, still with a man in the bin, or Ross Gray, I should say, with a man in the bin. So, Belvo defending slightly less on the blind side with that extra player. Ben Murphy lining up on this side with the red scrum cat. We've seen the pace he has already. It'd be lovely to see him coming into the action a bit more. Ball goes a bit loose. It's squirted out the back of that to Jack Matthews. He's had to deal with it. He's done well, though. Gareth Tynan comes in to try and help. Now the forwards take it on. Away, White! White, feet, White! Patient build up here from Ross Gray. McNan looks to bring it up. Pops it back outside. Tackle release, White! To Lucknan. Again, they move outside. Big carry there by Egan. Big hit. Just knocks it forward and a tackle, great tackle from Aaron Coleman coming in. But uh, plenty of power there from that Jack Egan carry. Yeah, Jack Egan looks really, really strong. You can see Ross Gray trying to trying to get the little pods going. Probably don't clean past the ball here. Yeah, it's good tackle technique. Just as he goes to ground, just lose the ball. And that's that's a killer for Ross Gray because, you know, getting getting opportunities down here, you know, with that, with that wind is... It's important you take advantage, even if it's only three points, just get scores and build a scoreboard and get back into the game. That's right. You have to be a flanker. You have to be a flanker. Yeah. 
Can't go number eight. So, chance for Belvedere to relieve the pressure a little bit here. It's half to be seven v seven, three four. Okay, let's go, guys. You can see Lars are just talking to Leonard. All in, guys. Looking on an exit strategy here, probably looking to get the ball passed straight off the base out to Leonard. Difficult to kick into this wind though. Yeah, it's really difficult to kick and you can see the Belvo back line. They look like they're set up to run here. So maybe take take a little bit of the of the of the gain line and then maybe it look to exit from for, from more across near the touchline. Still of course with that extra man, although the bin is nearly up on Joe Cronin, so he'll be rejoining action fairly soon. That's a great shot of Connor Kelly there, the, the Bevelier number six. He's been, you know, really, really dynamic in the loose. Set. Keep it up, Elbows up. Scrum is set. Down, at the base. He calls himself on the open side. Little dummy, but back inside. Taken down on this occasion by Marr. Belvo set it up. Coleman looks to go. Leaves it for Lysart. Cagney's waiting. He takes it forward. The drive from the tight head. Keeps it alive. Lysart to Leonard. Looks to chip it over the top. That one's covered though. Yeah, in front of the kicker. A bit careless that from Belvedere. You can see though, they're worried about that win, Bernard. They don't want to try to go for the long kick because they're going to be struggling to get it any distance with it. Cronin comes back onto the pitch. Yeah, it's like you can understand. I think it will be very hard for Justin Leonard to to get distance on that. But you just got to make sure your communication with your winger, you know, is is, is, is you're on top of that because to give away a soft penalty like that, you know, and just give Ross Gray opportunities to get get some momentum in the game. Yeah, and then change for Ross Gray. Shane Connolly coming in there. Big throw, but that one's not straight. And again, Belvedere let off the hook by a simple mistake from Ross Gray. Yeah, I think Ross Gray needs to make the their set piece count. They lost that line out from an off straight. The previous scrum wasn't clean, which gave you know the Belvedere defence a, a chance to get on the front foot. And you know you got to make sure you just have possession here and probably throw to the front in these conditions. You know, with a really good lift and a really good spring, would be a better option. Yeah, especially as we mentioned these conditions it's important that when they do get down in this half and they're pinning Belvedere back that they make those opportunities count scrum now for Belvedere okay. big scrum as well for Belvedere get the forward up on the loose head side Iser tries to move they're going along that back line don't want to kick with this win but it's dangerous territory Rory Dwyer did well to juggle that and hold on to it Grogan comes in to try and help out he takes Goes through the middle, set up again. Ross Gray coming forward. Oh, again, that ball. The rain and sleet having an effect. It's getting slippery. It's bouncing around on that 4G surface. Cagney sets up. Again, drives forward. Ball is there. Over there, just trying to pick and drive their way out of this area. Andrew Sinnott goes forward, looks to the gap to the middle. He's well met by the Ross Gray defenders. Coleman sets. Not really going anywhere here. Lyser tries to get it out to Leonard. He looks to step. Great step from Leonard. Gets on the outside. Support. Back inside by Grogan. Quick ball needed here. The Ross Gray defense trying to line out. Lyser gets it. Oh, he comes through the middle. Good work by Darren Tynan to turn that one over. Cronin picks it up. Trying to make amends for that earlier. Yellow card, oh, but he's lost it forward. And again, Belvedere, it's end to end stuff that keep going for it. Take it forward up the middle, and that one's not forward. Side entry. Side entry, Side though, entry. from Belvedere. Twice. Yeah, but as you spoke in the first half, okay, Reggie, the breakdown okay. doesn't look that secure. Both teams are going after now, which is creating a lot of turnovers, but what a break from Leonard. You know, I've been praising him in the first half, mainly for bringing other people into the game, but there he shows real pace and awareness to link up with his with his wing. And um, against the wind, you know, you need your backs to be able to carry out of, the, out, of the, out of your own half, and there we saw Leonard doing it brilliantly. Yeah, Coleman, just as he's going to ground, just spills the ball forward the placement it's, it's often the way though with these 4G surfaces when you do hit the deck you know it bounces slightly different to a normal pitch yeah there has been some turnovers of breakdown because of that you know it, lo it looks like the ball carries dominant clean is good but the ball is just bobbling back 
um, out of the breakdown. Nightmare for both scrum halves trying to try to deal with that because now the, uh, the defensive side are sending players through aggressively and you know you, you get your head taken off. Alexi Soroka there, the injured Belvedere player, but he's back on his feet. He's okay now. Billy Foley with an opportunity to put Ross Gray deep into the Belvedere half. He's kicked that one beautifully. That one just comes. He judged the win perfectly, Bernard. Let the win take it around the corner. And now they're about seven or eight metres shy of the Belvedere line with a line out opportunity. Go to the ball, I presume. Yeah, but I want to kick from Foley, as you said. You know, you could overcook that and it ends up going dead, but. You know, he gets the maximum out of it, really, and gives his forwards another chance to create something from a line they haven't lost the last one. Big throw for Lucknan. He goes back towards Culleton. It's a big drive. They're just short of the line. Ball's at the back. It's with Culleton. Belvo defended well. Now they're driving towards that touch line. Cagney in the middle of it all. Trying to get his hands on it. You can see Cronin is there. Ball's on the deck now. It's held up. It's yeah. held up. This is really creative by, by Ross Gray, but probably the simple the simple option would have been better. Great catch from Cullerton. Transfers the ball back to the pod and to the front, but Ross Gray were able to get in and get on, on the ball side of it and hold it up for a ball and a keep turnover. And we're almost going too quickly off that mall. It seemed like they needed to get it set a little bit more, be a bit more patient. Uh, they just lost control of it with the speed they were going forward. Exactly, Reggie, but because the, the pod of Cullerton that were up in the air. They were missing three players who could go and attack the, um, the mall and seal it off, and that allowed Ross Gray to get in. As you say, you're better off waiting, getting the structure right with seven bodies, and then go forward together in a controlled way. Ross Gray making a substitution now. Martin Fallon coming on for Dara Lachnan in the second row. So, some more power coming in in the engine room to try and add a little bit more energy to those malls to see Connor Cagney down with an injury for Belvedere at the moment he's had a huge game so far Vernon he's yeah, been involved he, he, in everything he's been really really dynamic he's been a standout um, you know he's been at the heart of everything good bad both done big big strong big strong boy looks very dynamic looks very powerful um, you know his scrum has been good and you know around the field he's just offered himself as a ball carrier you know regularly through through the game so far this is a tough one, defending on your own line against this win. Not too many get-outs of it. You no. imagine you could see uh, Coleman taking a drive of this on the open side. Yeah, or else knock up uh, Marr, who's got over the game line uh, quite regularly, which I think they're going to do. Yeah, he gets over the game line again. Great carry. Great power. Don't block, guys, thank you. Nicer to Leonard. He clears. You can just see how much that ball has been held up. But it was a good exit strategy, exactly as you said using Marr and his strength to gain those extra few metres, give Lysard a bit of space and give Leonard the opportunity to clear his lines. Yeah, and the right side for Leonard, obviously being a left footer, and he just tucks in there. He tried to keep that ball low and drill it into the wind, but you know, even with it with his kicking game, it still only gets 20 metres and shows you how strong the wind is. 27 points to five. Ross Gray desperate to get some scores on the board using this wind. Oh, what a steal. Brilliantly taken there by Soroka. Away seven. Inside. Still inside. Oh, referee just gets in the way of that one, but like I said, managed to still get it out. Get down that blind side channel. Using the big forwards again. Cagney. Good clear out from Belvedere. Out it goes to Coleman. He makes a meter. Lyser, Leonard. Out to Marr, big step back inside, great step from Marr. Finds a half gap, and in comes the support, driving forward. Then it again. This time the Ross Gray defence well organised. Forwards all set up, Leonard gets it out to the hooker. Sinnott. No hands, he can rough but no hands. clear out. Leonard again. Difficult one to take, he did well off his ankles. Sets it up, and now comes Ross Gray, the ball's out, referee says. Tidied up well. Ball again. Coleman pops it out to Cagney. Again, another two metres made by the tight head. Patient stuff this from Belvedere, just working their way out of defence in these difficult conditions. 
Musgray having to defend all the time. All these energy sapping tackles. Nice, Leonard. Marr puts the boot to it this time. And that one just goes out in the full. That's what they were trying to avoid the whole time, was having to take those kicks, because they know with this wind how difficult that can be. Yeah, as you're saying, as you, it's energy sapping for, for Ross Gray having to make those tackles, but also, you know, you're, 20, you're 22 points down. You know, you're frantic. You want to get a score on the board to get back in the game. And I think mentally as well, it'll, it'll stress Ross Gray a lot, having to, you know, be in the right area to the field but not have the ball. So, you know, I think Felbo will need to keep that ball and only kick when you're right on the edge and maybe a low kick along the ground that stays in. Because anytime you go high, you know, you're risking uh, the ball going out like that and giving Ross Gray a set piece. Just the last line out as well, Reggie. Ross Gray tried to dummy to the back, but throw to the front. And, you know, the Belbo defence knew the likelihood of throw to the back was, was pretty slim and got a pot up and stole the ball. So, you know, they might have to take a bit of a risk here and, and, and throw to the middle or back. Really, Ross Gray need to try and get something on the board at this stage. Again, the time is ticking away. 46 minutes gone. They desperately need a score. Cullerton goes. He jumps and it's taken, it's off the top. Good ball to Matthews. Big drive up by Connolly. Come back down the blind side. Cullerton. Oh, not forward there, but could be a deliberate. You may be seeing a card here. Looked like Murphy was on the outside. Yellow card. Yeah, and it's nice out there that's gone off. And that's a big blow to Belvedere. The nine, the nine is in the middle. Patrick Lysart, he's the one that's been controlling everything in the game. But he's going to spend the next 10 minutes in the bin. So, again, with the wind at their back and all the pressure and territory at the moment for Ross Gray, this next 10 minutes is crucial for them to get some scores on the board. Absolutely. A nice set-piece play. Got Connolly over the game like the back down the blind side. Oh, but they messed to lose the line. Right now, was key. Yeah, just overthrown. The timing wasn't quite there. Well tidied up by Belvedere, but now they're going to have to pick and drive their way for the next 10 minutes with no nine on the pitch. The forwards are going to have to take control of that, so Ross Gray try and counter up. The ball is there. Marr takes it forward. Coleman. We go for the kick. Again from Mar, and again we're seeing how much that wind is affecting everything. Impossible to get any distance, but all the time the clock is ticking down, and Belvedere still in control of this game. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you know, you really feel Ross Gray would need a score now. Take advantage of that yellow card. Belvedere put Mar in at, at scrum half, and it, you know we've seen his power getting over the game now. But he looks like he's a smart footballer, organizer there, playing scrum half. But uh, you know, just now Ross Gray needs a set piece to work, keep possession. Even, no matter where they get the ball, just win it and build some phases. Out along the line. Oh, little dink in behind. The chase is on. Well tidied up. Take forward. Oh, beautiful break. Bounces off the home, then loses the ball going into contact. Referee's right there. He's letting the advantage play on. Bringing it back for the knockoff. Yeah, great counter attack from 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 Grogan. Unfortunately, just as he was as he was falling, he lost the ball forward. And actually, the refs moved it up to, to the five yards. It's just a cracking opportunity, best opportunity of the second half for Ross Gray to to get a score. Yeah, referees moved it forward. He had played advantage. It was initially well tidied up by Dwyer, but just lost it there in the contact. And as as he plays the advantage and he goes back, Mar tries to uh, tidy it up, but he knocks it back over his own line, then touches it down. So that's why we have the five meter scrum here. And now with the extra man, huge opportunity for Ross Gray to try and get something on the board. But first, they've got to make this scrum count. Yeah. Be interesting to get the angle they want, you know, get get the tie head pop up and go go eight nine to the right hand side, and you've got a lot of space there with, with two dangerous runners on, on on the open side, and both wingers are lining up on this left hand side with Ben Murphy and Shane Mallon both lining up one behind the other on this blind side, with only three defenders opposite them, creating a four on three here. Watch Ben Murphy, he's the speedster. They'll try and work something to bring him into this. He's not the biggest man in the world, Ben Murphy, with the red scrum cap, but he has serious pace and he gets the ball in the hands. 
Yeah, the scrum has been quite clean. It's the first time we've had a couple of resets. Um, but it's so important for Ross Gray to get this right. The front row shouldn't go down unless they're absolutely comfortable because this could be a, a key moment in the game. Well, 20 minutes left on the clock. Ross Gray desperate to get a score. Scrum is solid. They go down this blind side. Oh, just Gilgallan just held up short. Matthews uses his forwards. Big drive. Ball available. Not out yet. Pick and drive again. A straight go. Ball's available. Fallon is there. McCluskey supporting. Big leg drive coming through from Ross Gray. Ball's available at the back again. Matthews wants his forwards to take it on. Keep coming around that corner. Matthews goes wide. Puts it out to Tynan. Tynan's last pass. Oh, just knocked backwards. He picks it up again. Tynan. Four players come in. Belvedere scrambling defence. Four metres short of that line. Mar now. With support from Kerr. They make another metre. Ball is placed back. Cullerton. Big leg drive from him. Ball available again. Matthews doesn't want it. He's calling his forwards back around. Mar goes in. Connolly there to help. The pick and drive is on. Good leg drive again. They've made another metre. Ball now available to Matthews. He looks to go out towards Tynan. Tynan brings in a great break. Gilgallan comes in. Huge gap. Gilgallan spots it at pace. Dives over under the post for a great try from Ross Gray. Really well worked between Matthews, Tynan and Gilgallan. Yeah, you got to admire Tynan there. You know, most teams and the forwards get out close. They don't let the ball out to the backs. But Ross Gray had tried that from, to go from middle to left. Didn't score, nearly turned it over, but it didn't bother him. As soon as he felt that the, the, the Belmont defence got tight, and obviously with a man down, they're going to be even narrower than usual. He was getting that ball off nine, and you know, an, un an unbelievable bit of play from Kilgannon to, to, to score under the post, which should be converted, and brings Ross Gray into the game. Yeah, Billy Foley makes no mistake there and gets that one over. Brings the scoreline to 27 points to 12. And as we watch... The rain comes down even harder, and that wind looks to be even stronger. And as we said, with that extra man advantage, Ross Gray getting that score they so desperately needed. And with 17 minutes left on the clock, and just 15 points between the teams, still plenty to go in this one, Bernard. Yeah, absolutely. And Ross Gray has shown um, they won't lie down. They're going to take the game to Belvedere. And if there was any cracks in the Belvedere defence, you know, Ross Gray will definitely, definitely expose those. So what do they do here? They kick everything down and try and just play territory with yeah. the box kicks? No, I think you've got to get down there and put the squeeze on them. That box kick probably could have went a little bit further. It's hanging up there, though. There's a great chance. It's knocked backwards. It's knocked on. Referee says it looked to go backwards initially, but I think the second hand knocked it forward. Uh, yeah, Belvedere, not anywhere to be seen no. around that. They need to defend that a little bit better. Yeah, I think they're expecting a longer a longer kick, so the backfield were, were, were 40 metres back, and then when it didn't carry in the wind as, as you would have expected, you know, it was a real opportunity for Ross Gray to regather, as we saw for in the first half, Cullen gathering, you know, the, the, the box kick from, from Matthews, which have been excellent in fairness. Belvedere will be looking to make some substitutions. You can see them warming up here below us. Great step back inside by Grogan. Beautiful offload to Coleman. Look at the pace of Coleman. Cronin desperately scrambling after him. Coleman goes all the way. Is he there? Oh, what a score. What a finish. Oh, that's outstanding. You know, what a reaction from the, from the score from Ross Gray. Belvedere goes straight up the field. You know, and get a, an outstanding try from Coleman. The initial break by Grogan was incredible. The ball comes off the scrum. You can see it here. Beautiful back outside. And then that little switch play inside by Grogan. Look at the step by him. Left, right, back inside to Coleman. But look at the power here. You think that Joe Cronin has him, but Coleman just keeps going, reaches, and just gets it. I don't think that second touch was the one that was it. I think no. it was the first one that he touched it down because that second one looked like it was just the ball bouncing. But what a break from Coleman. What leg power and what leg drive. Yeah, really, really smart by, by Belvedere getting two of their 
best athletes, more powerful players, you know, into the play. Grogan with the initial with the initial burst off the scrum and then what an offload and but it, that took some finishing. I mean for a back row to go, you know, from that distance, you know, with, with some with some strong defence around, you know, shows he's a really, really powerful young player. Justin Leonard with the attempt old. here, the wind playing old. havoc with these conversions. Need to get you can't drop the piece is coming up here to try and help him just hold this one, but Leonard with the conversion attempt. Into this win, this will be a tricky one. It's customary step. He drilled it. Oh, that's a fantastic kick into the wind. Drilled it low to try and take the effect of the wind out of it and dissect it the post. Yeah, sometimes when you see a kicker and the ball blows, blows off the tee during his, during his build up and unsettles him, but that just shows the composure and the, uh, the kind of calmness that, that uh, Leonard has because, you know, that was an immaculate kick into a very strong wind. Billy Foley with the restart, well taken again. Good setup from Belvedere. Leonard again. That one's a little bit scrappy as the sleet and the rain steam streams down onto the pitch in front of us. Snow, sleet, hail, you name yeah. it. We're getting it all today, Bernard. This, this is as bad as the weather as we've had today. There was a bit of a storm at 20 minutes four before kickoff, but you know, and, and the, the conditions have been playable just about. But this, if this continues the rest of the match, it's going to make it incredibly difficult for for both teams to play the type of rugby they've played so far. Ross Gray have to get themselves back into this huge scrum. Pressure comes on from Belvo, but it's back to Matthews. He moves it out towards Tynan. Little bit of dummy play there with Foley. Didn't quite work out, but they've still managed to hold on to the ball. Matthews goes back inside again. To Martin Farrell. Ball available. Matthews. Big hit up there from Connolly. And he's just knocked it forward again. And it's these little errors that are creeping into the game. Conditions obviously affecting it. But these are the killer blows for Ross Gray when they're trying to build some sort of a way back into the game. Yeah, it's very difficult for them. And, you, you know, you put, himself in, put yourself in the place of, of those players now for Ross Gray. They're, you know, they're, t they're 22 points down. You know, they want to have an impact on the game. They want to make things happen quickly. And just maybe being a little bit over-anxious, um, you know, and lacking a little bit of patience. But that's completely understandable. Yeah, Ross Gray now bringing the changes, bringing on some fresh legs, trying to make an effect in the game. Over there, scrum. Ball at the base. Nice moves it out to Grogan. Good offload there. Over there, patiently. Building up this. Taken forward again by Soroka. McNeese now in at nine. Oh, that's a big hit. And Cagney drives him backwards. Again, Belvo patiently working the way out, but that one dealt well. Steps back inside by Whelan. Aren't we guys the good rookie? Looking to get some width. Cullerton. Moves it along to Cronin. Oh, that's just past Murphy. Can he get away from the tackler? No, he's well taken down on this occasion. Tynan takes it forward. Well met by Coleman, though. Bird now. Driven back. Good counter rooking from Belvedere. They may have this. I think they've gotten it. Cagney looks like he's hands it. No, it's back on the Ross Gray side. They just saved it. Up the middle goes Gilgallum. For us, Gray. Bird gets it back to Foley. Foley tries to put some distance in behind the way. Leonard. Leonard covering it. It's a great kick there from Jill Gallen. Yeah, it's a great Kings. kick. Ross Gray just finds himself going backwards a little bit. Got the ball out to you know to Williams, who looks like a danger, danger man. And or Murphy, Ben Murphy, who looked like a danger man in the first half, but well marked by the Belbo defense. And you know, there's no point playing too much rugby in your own half. Get down there and try and play, you know, put pressure on the on the Belbo set piece, but it looks like it touched the hand actually, and it's gonna be a Ross Gray throw. Yep. And we're into the final ten minutes of this Leinster schools game.
between Belvedere and Ross Gray. Belvedere, as you can see, in control, 34 points to 12, but that scoreboard doesn't tell the story of the second half. There's been a huge amount of territory from Ross Gray and putting a lot of pressure on. As we go back and have a look at this last tray. Again, good, solid setup from the scrum. Ball in, and you can see from this, Bernard, there's good back inside boom. Just this step. That's the one. Grogan back inside. And look the left, right, and back inside. But the offload there to Coleman. Now look at this leg drive. He's got two players on him. Cronin, Joe Cronin can't get there. Um, Mallon tries to come in as well, but he just keeps the leg drive thumping forward and finishes it off brilliantly. Yeah, brilliantly. He's been, he's been excellent in, in the close exchanges. You know, he's consistently got them over the gain line, but there we saw him in a little bit of space. And, um, you know, there were good efforts from, from the Ross Gray defence, but, you know, his, his leg drive and his power are, are, are so good that he, he, he took a lot of stopping. Another line that goes astray for Ross Gray. Backward, backward. That one looked to go forward. The referee oh, says play on. Ball's available for Osprey though. Bird has it. He moves it wide. Out towards line him. Oh, just gets the off line to Cullen. Cullen goes forward. Leg drive again. Oh, it's been ripped by Belvedere. They're moving it. That needed to go. Take it in instead. McNeese now. Moves it back over to Kelly. He's had a good game. Just on that occasion, trying the offload a little bit, a little bit scrappy, but they're just trying things now. I think Belvedere feel maybe that with about nine minutes left in this game, they may well have the upper hand and they can try these things. Yeah, for sure, and it's difficult for Belvedere because you know they're playing rugby in an area that they generally wouldn't in the field, but because of the wind, they feel they have to to run it out of there. And Ross Gray have put in some desperate tackles, obviously looking to get possession back and. You know, likewise when Ross Gray have the ball, you know they're trying to score quickly, so they're maybe being a little bit over frantic because of the the position that Belva put him in. You know, for a strong lead. Now they're making a change. Jonathan Sargent coming in now to the battle. Ross Gray scrum, bird of the put in. Big pressure on it's from Belvedere. Hold the push. Stay bound. Let it go, Black. Bird. He's the first man on oh, yet. He's released. Good penalty for on. Belvedere here, just holding on. Some poor players not getting there in time. And again, that's such a relief for Belvedere, just soaking up all the pressure that's coming at them. Again, you see Foley trying to take it forward, but it's great work by Coleman again in there. He's involved in everything, carrying, tackling, organizing, picking off the base of scrums, and there getting into a poaching position. Yeah, excellent, excellent work defensively. Just really good spots that the, the Ross Gray cleaners a little bit late and gets in there in strong body position and, and, and gets a key key penalty to allow them, you know, take the sting out of sting out of Ross Gray a little bit by wasting, you know, taking time off the clock and getting a set piece. Again, to Cagney, to Kelly. Now now looking to finish out this game, playing some good rugby in a Sarowski taking up that one. That's a rough. Okay, let's go. Cagney. Away, tackle. Thank you, well done, Thank you. He's okay. Saroka. Let him go, Black. Ball available at the back. Nice moves it along the line again. Another good step. Good defence from Ross Gray on this occasion. Nice organises his troops as outs as the referee. Ross Gray turned that one over. Bird now tries to move it along the line. Taken up. Needs support. Isolated. Again, ball available to Bird. Ross Gray forwards coming around the corner. Connolly this time. Cullerton involved again. Needs to get to ground. Off oh, loads of points to Bird. Bird with a good step. Oh, back inside. He's unlucky. Gavin Murr just reached for it. Didn't quite get there. It's a knock on. 
Yeah, oh, look, in fairness, Ross Gray have to try and take a few risks now. Just playing one out rugby, you know, won't won't get them the scores that they need. And you know, it starts with a, a good carry from Cullen, a decent clean, and just for a second, it looks like there's a little bit of space around the breakdown. Nine throws a dummy. You know, he's got to try that offload, but unfortunately, it was good defence. Unfortunately, Ross Gray, good defence by Bell, but it closed that offload channel and, and forced uh, the turnover. Yeah, it just feels a little bit like Ross Gray are just uh, playing a little bit frantically now. A lot of the patterns and a lot of the style that they had in the earlier parts of the game have gone out of it. They're just playing off the cuff a bit now, Bernard. Yeah, they are. And you can understand as well. They're young men. And, you know, they might have been in the situation before. Um, you know, they wouldn't have been in the situation before in a, in a competition like this, which is, you know, so important. And, and they probably feel the game getting out of the reach a little bit. Belvoir now, big take up. Oh, good hit there by Connolly. Connolly's been busy since he came on. Absolutely. You know, both sides of the ball. McGrady. At least now. Lots of space on the outside. At least pushes it out. Lining up, plenty of room on the open side. Big carry again. Ball available. At nice. they go blindside this side. Tries to kick, it's blocked this time. Good chase up by Foley. Gets the tackle in. Bellwell keeping it tight now. Cagney goes in. As the snow comes down again. Nice looks to go himself. No gaps there. Ross Gray organizing that defensive line. Stay on side, thank you. Cagney again. He's been in the middle of everything today, Bernard. Yeah, he's been he's been outstanding. Relief 20. You know, it's, I, I feel sorry for Ross Gray a little bit here now. That Bellwood just putting on a, an exhibition and how to keep the ball, recycling it. You know, they know they control the scoreboard, they know the time is running out, you know, the conditions won't let them go wide um, as easily. Unfortunately, you know, commentators curse, they just turn it over there in the breakdown, but can they shut it down? Well, they click on a great offload there to Tyler. He looks for space. Well defended this time. Murphy goes in to try and clear out. Ball available. Bird moves it. It's taken up by Connolly. Connolly goes to ground. Ball there quickly. Bird. Again, Belvo just fanning out, not committing players to the breakdown. Tynan. Oh, that looks forward, but the referee says no. He's played it on. Neil Gallon finds gap. Good leg speed by him. Keeps pumping the legs going forward. Bird, ball available. Tynan steps back inside. Again, well defended by Belvedere. Fallon takes it up. Bird probing, care. He's worked tirelessly the loose head prop. Big break, little dummy slip inside by Bird. Ball available again. Tynan goes in, organizes forward, sends in care. Care with the pick and drive. Good leg drive. They make another meter. Ball at the base. You can see Cullerton lining up. Good counter rooking coming in from Belvedere. Leg drive again. Another meter. Ross Gray would dearly love to finish on a high. Care takes it forward. Bell would not want to lose anybody. Cullerton, pick and drive. Great drive from the second row. Two meters short. Ball available again. McCluskey goes. Or Mar, in fact. Tynan looks to go wide. Oh, he has it. Offside. Referees giving a penalty. So, 
One last chance for yeah. Oscar Gray as we enter the last minute. This has been very brave for Oscar Gray the whole second half. You know, they haven't got anything easy. They're constantly going after after Belvo, but it's been very attritional. Belvo's defense has been, you know, very, very strong. And uh, yeah, it's just hard to see the pack having the power to get over from those close in exchanges. They're going to go for a scrum here, I think, are they? You'd have to ask, was this a forward pass earlier on? A little bit generous? Yeah, I think it was. Um, you know, Belvoir going for the rush defence. The wings are getting up in front, and, you know, Ross Gray are trying to pick that with Tynan hitting Kilgannon on a short line. But, you know, they were looking to get away with that. That was definitely a forward pass. Yeah, well, referee allowing things to go forward. An opportunity here for Ross Gray, five metres out. Big scrum. The Belvedere scrum has been very powerful in the last couple, though, so they'll need to concentrate on this one. Keep it up. Hold that way. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Reggie. You can see a Gonna massive recess. shift of power up the left hand side of the Belvedere scrum there, which makes the ball very messy awesome. for the Ross Gray replacement scrum half, Connor Conor Bird. Yeah. Pressure coming up. On that loose head side, you flood putting a lot of pressure in. But that, all in all, I think there's been uh, some great power coming in. In fact, it was John Sargent who's in on that loose head side. Last opportunity here, Bernard. Big scrum. Yeah, it looks like they're going to use Billy Foley as a as a strike runner with a deep cut to back at Tynan. And, you know, and a, and a left wing Ben Murphy in, in playing a 13 at the moment to try and set him free. It's scrappy, but it's tidied up there by Power, Colin Power. Or doesn't want that. He's getting the forwards in there. Pick and drive is the option. Looking to get one out. Big leg drive again. Patiently building up here. Ball available, Bird. He's looking on that open side. Tynan gets it out to Foley. Can't quite get there. He's just held up short. Driving over, but Belvedere are in. They've just held it up. How close he is to the line. You can just see it. Look like it touched the line, but it seems they've just come back. Again, they're looking to set up on this drive. Big drive again, but big defense from Belvedere. Referee's right there. Can he see it? Yes, he can. And Ross Gray get a reward for all that hard work and all that build-up. It's too little too late, but great heart and great for them to keep going and get that score at the end. Well-deserved, Bernard. Yeah, well-deserved. They haven't really got any any lucky breaks in this game. They've had to work really hard for, for all the scores. And You know, Billy Billy Foley and Dermot Kagan in the centre have been incredibly strong. Got him over the gain line. And once they get in that close, it could have been a try there, I think. Yep. But the referee missed it. But in fairness to the referee, his positioning from the next play... You know, it's a pick and go, great body position, and the referee's right in there and he sees it down. And you know, it's at least it's the least that, that, that Ross Gray deserve because they've put in a massive effort. Yeah, it's been a, a long, hard afternoon for them. I think the turning point in the game may well have been when they got that yellow card early on yeah. in the game, and you know that at that stage of the game against the wind, it cost them a couple of tries. So they'll rue that. From the body language of the Ross Gray players, it looks like they know it's the last play of the game. They're not set up for the kickoff. Oh, great kick. And that's it. In what's been a hugely entertaining Bank of Ireland Leinster Schools Cup game, Belvedere have come out victorious against Ross Gray. Both teams really put a huge amount of effort into this one, Bernard. Yeah, no, I think, I think the, the both players should be proud. Obviously, Belvo will be exuberant to get into the quarter-final draw. Ross Gray will be, be good at but um, they've done themselves proud. And there's, you know, I think there's some individuals on both sides that we'll, we'll see again in the future from the Ross Gray team, a losing team. I thought both centres, the Cannon and Foley, were, were excellent. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll talk about the winning team in a minute. OK, and now it's time to talk to Massey Tuakaraina. The winning coach, Massey. You must be happy with that performance. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's, uh, our first round's always tough, and um, particularly up against a, a big physical side like Ross Gray. 
and what will you take from today's performance going into the quarterfinals? Uh, I thought uh, our captain uh, Aaron Common did a great job leading from the front. Good go forward carries. Um, his, his tackling was superb, and I think we took our opportunities well in the first half. Played to to our lineouts, and we were fortunate to, um, to to get 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 our, put ourselves in a good position for the second half. And your captain today, Aaron, really led from the front, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. You know, he led from the front. He stayed. He um, was a very dogged performance. Uh, kept composure, and you know, I was happy how he led the boys today. Thanks very much. Enjoyed today. Yes, thank you. And he said, you know, captain, and there's no doubt about it, Aaron Coleman leading by example. What a performance he put in. Yeah, he was. Um, he was exceptional. Um, you know, there's a lot of strong performances from from both sides. I thought. You know, I thought Lysett when he was on was it was excellent. Um, Andrew Sinnott as well, true incredibly well in the con considering the conditions um, in what was a very strong performance all around with Bevo. Okay, well, speaking of the captain, we're happy that we have him here. Let's listen to what he has to say. Aaron, difficult conditions out there, but it didn't really seem to affect you and your teammates. Oh uh, yeah, well, it was always going to be a tough day with the weather, but we, we decided just keep it tight. And oh, sorry. Yeah, um, very, very tough second half. Ross Gray brought great physicality, great team. But, you know, you just need to, got to keep it tight in the weather, play the conditions, and, and like, it'll be the same for every other team, just play the conditions. And that was a brilliant, powerful try by yourself. What was going through your head when you got on the ball? Uh, the whole team just based off reactions, you know. Um, that's what we train, that's what Master trains. But, um, no, it, it could have been anyone. Anyone would have been there. Just play, play what's in front of you. Congratulations, we'll see you in the quarterfinal. Yeah, Bernard, Aaron Coleman, very proud of his players. And he said how tough a day it was in those conditions. Yeah, I don't think the scoreline reflected um, how hard Belvedere had to work. And, you know, probably flatters Belvedere a little bit. They are an excellent side, but I think Ross Gray, you know, played their part in what was a really tense, uh, engaging game. Yeah. And I think, you know, as Aaron Coleman said, the second half performance is really what finished it in the end for Belvedere. Yeah, I think it was his try, to be honest. You know, Ross Gray, it took him 10 or 12 minutes to get over the whitewash, haven't had a lot of possession of territory. But from that, you know, Belvedere reacted, you know, brilliantly with a with, with Coleman's try, and that put the game to bed, to be honest. But, uh, you know, Belvedere, Belvedere definitely looked like a team who could be capable of, of lifting this trophy. Uh, I think this is a big performance from them. Ross Gray can be proud though, they put in a good performance as well and they never gave up right till the very end. No, we've seen them here in front of their home fan, or the, the, the school, you know, the school appreciate the effort they put in. Very, very proud school who've, you know, probably overachieved over the last five or six years given their numbers in this competition and, uh, you know, unfortunately I think this, a lot of this, that team are, are in sixth year, that cycle is over, but uh, you can be pretty sure that they'll, um, we'll, we'll see some of these boys playing in, in, in uh, different academies um, over the next couple of years. Yeah, I was impressed as well with the uh, halfback combination for Belvedere, and in particular, Lysard was very strong, but in particular, Justin Leonard in that first half, he dictated things. Yeah, I think he had a very strong game, very difficult for a 10 today, and um, you know, he showed real quality. Okay, now we're going to go to the draw for the remainder of the quarterfinals, so we have old teammates of ours there, Peter Smith and Trevor Hogan, Bernard. Yeah, both working in Leinster Academy now. Peter Smith obviously coached Blackrock College uh, to win a to win a cup. Let's see who we have. Gonzaga, Gonzaga College. And who will they be playing? Terenor. It's an interesting one. Gonzaga, of course, winning the league earlier. Congos. And they'll be playing against CBC Monkstown. The winners of C CUS will be Monkstown tomorrow. And Black Rock. Narrow winners over Pres Gray last week. And they'll be playing St. Michael's, and that is the draw of these quarterfinals. And finally, for the last quarterfinal, Belvedere. And they'll be
will be playing Newbridge College, of course. So. Yeah. And that's interesting. Gonzaga versus Terry Neur. Congos versus CBC Monkstown. Blackrock versus St. Michael's. And Belvedere versus Newbridge in the quarterfinals. And just a reminder that we are now your new home for Syria football in the Republic of Ireland and the UK. This Saturday in Free Sports, you can watch Napoli versus Sampdoria. Coverage joins at 5.15. And following that, you can watch Cristiano Ronaldo's Juventus take on Parma. Again, live on Free Sports. And don't forget, all the quarterfinals will be live here on Free Sport. Victory today for Belvedere over a gallant Ross Gray team. That's all for now.